Safe tonight for people in Oakleaf Plantation after learning their neighbor, an accused killer, is arrested. Police apprehended 44 year old Adrian Seward at an extended stay hotel off JTB this morning and has been booked into the Clay County Jail on one count of murder. Investigators believe he shot and killed his ex wife, 33 year old Lashana Criswell Seward, outside a neighbor's home Thursday night, all after an argument. Channel 4's Ashley Harding is joining us live tonight from Oakleaf Plantation with reaction from neighbors there. Ashley? Well, Adrian, this is a big relief for them, but of course, there's also a feeling of real sadness here tonight for Lashana. Just look, people have been leaving flowers here for her right here on the front yard. And if you follow me, we can take a walk. You can see they've also left them right here on the front doorstep. All in all, these neighbors are really glad that the ex husband was caught. Uh, the neighbor came over and said she saw it on the internet. So my heart automatically just started beating a little better and, you know, more relaxed. Mike Gray is just one of the dozens of Oak Leaf residents breathing a sigh of relief tonight after his neighbor, 44 year old Adrian Seward, was taken into custody. I talked to the neighbor down the road um, where. You know, the body was actually found, and she said she just wants closure. Deputies say Seward shot and killed his 33 year old ex wife, Lashana, near their home on Pond View Drive in Orange Park. Authorities say he was found at this hotel along JTB this morning. Witnesses described watching U.S. Marshals with their guns drawn. I was pretty much uh, scared for my family and um, didn't know what to think of it. And uh, that's why we're looking for a new place to go. Community activist Linda Dason says family members had begged Seward to turn himself in and says it was something he was planning to do. Now, she says closure is what families on both sides need. And in this, you have two families that are hurting. You know, you have her side of the family are hurting, and you have his side of the family that is hurting. And um, we're just hoping and praying that uh, this case, or this situation, be. One of the cases that be just, you know, be justified. Back here on Pond View, their focus now is restoring a sense of normalcy. I don't think that we were all in fear of him coming back, but you just never know. And, you know, like I said, you know, last night we've been locking a lot more things and keeping garage doors shut and things like that, but um, this is normally a very quiet neighborhood and we want it to get back to that. Another thing the neighbors tell me is they were surprised to learn that Seward was even still in town when he was caught. We're also hearing he is expected to make his first court appearance sometime tomorrow. Reporting live in Clay County, I'm Ashley Harding, Channel 4, the local station. Ashley, it's pretty clear to see that neighbors there cared a lot about Lashana. Are they planning to do anything else in the coming days and weeks to remember her? Yes, Adrian. Some of the neighbors told me they are planning to hold a vigil here in the neighborhood um, sometime on Friday night. Um, we've not heard yet uh, what time that will be, but that is something they are planning to do in her memory. All right, Ashley Harding reporting live for us tonight in Clay County. Ashley, thank you.